anyone find this in a world full of lies, in a world full of deceit, in a world devoid of any logic, devoid of any common sense? How does one find it? So, can you find truth in lies? Just ponder that one for a minute. So, if you're in a relationship, say you're married, say you're married, we'll go straight for the jugular. So, say you're married and you find out your spouse has had an affair. So, you've now found out about their lies. Is there any truth in that for you? So you know they've lied to you? Yeah. Yeah, the fact they've lied to you, that is the truth. But have you found any truth in what they've done? So where I'm going is, if you were to deep, dig a little bit deeper and start to ask questions about it, you would probably find out why they had that affair. Why do people not... Some people absolutely ask these questions. Why do people not ask these questions? Probably because they'll find out, I think. Because it takes two to tango, doesn't it? Not always. Not always. I mean, it's not about me, me, me. But my own personal story is I've never been told. I was nev I've never been told why I was kicked out of the family home. I know why. Because she was deceiving me from the outset and she just had it end game. But I've asked. But no, I get no answers. Why did I ask? Because I don't fear the answers. I actually want the answers. So it's my testimony. Yes, here we go again. That all of this started for me when I learned the moon landing was a hoax in 2016. Now, I found out the moon landing was a hoax and I was depressed. I was absolutely destroyed. And then that depression turned into anger. Because I was that child. I was that child where I loved space. I loved it. I loved the planets. I loved the moon. I, I loved my telescope. I loved NASA. I loved rockets. I loved the astronauts. I, I loved it all. So then it turned to just dismay. Now, this is sort of where... This is where they... This is where they want to keep you. They want to keep you in a state of emotion a state of the emotions i just described you know despair oh my goodness they've lied about the moon landing anger and then you're like i just want to tell everybody because i've got all this information now and i did all this i did all this i've got all this information now i just want to tell everyone but is there any truth in it so okay man didn't go to the moon they lied to us Okay. And that's where a lot of people keep it. I mean, there's actually people out there who know the moon landing was a hoax, but still think the Earth's a globe. Why? Because they haven't asked any more questions. And this is how you get to truth. You get to truth by asking more questions in the lies. So you can find truth in lies to an extent, but it just leads to more questions. So, why, why, why is the moon landing a hoax so important? Why is it so important? Well, why did they do it? Many, many, many reasons. I mean, this video could go for hours if I sat here and I told you all the reasons why, the reasons I know of that, why they faked the moon landing. But the big one is to just to reinforce the space light. Because space, space is just central. It's just central to the deception. So... What space does is space covers up all kinds of things. So these planets that they talk about, to me, they're, they're definitely fallen angels. They're, they're angels that left their estate. And then that leads all to all, all sorts of more questions about creation, which, is, which I'm going to do in a different video where I'm at with creation this morning. But that then uncovers all sorts of new questions about creation but it reinforces the globe lie. The globe lie is just, it's essential to them because with the globe lie, it's the opposite of what's going on. So they are sun worshippers and in their globe model, 
everybody celebrates. Everybody worships the sun god model. They do it unwittingly, but it's everywhere. It's everywhere at this shopping centre. As far as the eye can see, the evidence for sun worship is, is everywhere. And people defend it. Why do they defend it? Why do people, when they're offered this information about the globe being a lie, why do they defend it? Satan's got a few weapons. He's got a few weapons. The biggest, Satan, the biggest weapon Satan's got is that he's fooled people that, that, that he doesn't exist. He knows people are lazy. He knows people are full of pride. He knows people don't want the truth because they don't want to know. How often do you hear that? Those in the body of Christ, how often do you hear that? I don't want to know. He... I can't think of it. There's another one. Oh, yeah, that one. The most important one. He knows that people aren't going to open their Bible. They're not going to open their Bible. And that, that's where you start finding the truth. Now, these light orbs I've been having, right? I've presented this information to a few people now, just to get their reaction, just to, I don't know, do a few reasons, just to see if they can shed any light. <laughs> do you like it when I laugh at my own jokes? You were laughing too, weren't you? Come on. See if you can find any white SUV monsters here. There's one. There's one over there. <laughs> just to see why. Just to see why they're there. Just to see if anybody can shed any light on as to why they're there. Um, and also just to get their reaction. And, and the reactions have been interesting. Um, one reaction I got was somebody just couldn't wait to tell me that they'd saw it on TV. And I just looked at them and I said, well, this is me, not some guy on TV. Yeah, 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 I know. It's like it's me. I'm sitting right here in front of you and it happened to me. Don't care about some guy on TV. It was fake. <laughs> fake. <laughs> TV fake. You moron. <laughs> and they just keep coming to defend it. Like that video I put up there yesterday, the only reason I titled that Flat Earth was just to see if I got a reaction. And up they come. I've got two so far. Up they come, this TJ, I think, Jones. He comes up every single time I post a Flat Earth video. He's obviously just a troll. And I just respond. Whenever I respond now, I just give him a verse. I just give him a scripture. They don't like that. That just seems to... I don't know. They don't like the scriptures. They just hate Jesus. They hate him. But up he comes to a guy in the body of Christ and just says, you need a model and I'm going to give you $46,000. And I'm like, you can't, you can't even comprehend how much more than any money in the world the wisdom the Lord gives me every day. How, how, how much that exceeds your $46,000. You just can't even begin to imagine it, mate. So, they know the, the, the truth. How do they know the truth? Because of the fallen angels. So as I find, as I walk, and this is what Freemasonry is all about. Freemasonry is as you elevate through the levels of their Freemasonry. It's just sick what they do. But as they rise higher, they give you more wisdom that the fallen angels have imparted. They shed more light on exactly what's going on. They're trying to find the wisdom of the tree that Eve partook of, I think, where the rest, and that's what repentance could be all about as well. Could be another layer of, layer of repentance in, is that we don't want the wisdom from that tree after it was defiled. No, we want it in its pure state. So before Eve partook at the tree, so when Adam was the son of God, we want to get back to that knowledge where these people want to get back to the, the fallen angels, the sons of men, 
the sons of God, fallen, those ones, in the flesh. They want to get, they want to, get to that wisdom that the fallen angels imparted and that's what Freemasonry is. So we're all after wisdom, but we're doing it via the Lord in the spirit. And this is where this is where it all starts to separate. Because when you when you try to find things out like truth and why we're here and all that, you've got to bring it all together. Everything you've learned, you just can't forget stuff. You've got to remember what you've prayed for. What did I always used to say at work? Every time I try and say this now, I get it wrong. Don't stress about what you don't know today. Think about what you do know today that you didn't know yesterday as a result of yesterday and celebrate what you're going to know tomorrow as a result of today. So every morning I wake up and I say to the Lord and I look to the waters above and I say to the Lord, O oh Lord, what does thee have in store for thine today? Now I don't just say that for shits and giggles. I mean, it's got a comedic aspect to it, hasn't it? And you know I like my funnies. But it's true. It's true every day. And how do I learn this stuff? How does it happen for me? Because I don't have pride. I admit when I was wrong. I admit when I was wrong. And that's a lot what this channel is about for me. It's why I'm happy to be public. And I'm going to do another so I've got a separate video on people's calling as well. What is your calling? Exactly what is your calling? How do you decipher what your calling is? I've been thinking about that too. But this is part of why I've got this YouTube channel. It's because I'm public. I'm putting all of my thoughts all of my musings on here in a public forum that anybody can see and when I'm wrong and when I realise I'm wrong I need to repent and I do it because I'm not full of ego I'm full of, I've got a lot of pride in my work with the Lord I'll tell you that I'll tell you that and that sort of brings me on to my probably my final point on this video it's just how so when I started the video, I talked about, I was talking about how, can, can you find truth in lies? Now, it is there. So when I learned the moon landing was a hoax, I mean, you look at it and it's all there in front of you the whole time. It's obvious it was a movie set and it wasn't real. And all of the stage tricks and all that, they just haven't stood up over time. It makes me wonder that because they had all this technology back in the ancient Egypt times when they built the pyramids. So I believe they've always had the technology. And that's why I think all these movies, they look better. They always stand up well. Like you look at that Capricorn one and it stood up really, really well. It's really stood the test of time in terms of how it ages. And you look at all the old 1940s movies and all that and they they stand up where you look at the TV shows and they just don't, they age and I think that's what they have to do because they've got all the technology that we've got now they've always had it but they can't just show it, like they can't just release a movie in the 1940s in full colour HD, you know but they could have so you can see the movie sets for the, for the moon landing just haven't stood up over time they just haven't and it was there in front of you, and you look at the NASA logo, and there's the serpent, the serpent's tongue. It's there on the NASA logo, right? So there's truth. There's truth in their lies if you dig, if you dig, and you start looking for wisdom. But when you, when you're there, you're stuck. You're in a black hole. Like I look back at some of the people that have kept me from the Lord. And one of the things that they, they, they do to you is they, they make you think that you're nothing and you're insignificant and, oh, no, you can't have an ego. And that comes from both sides. But the Lord's saying, you can't have an ego. Don't have an ego because it's not about you. It's about your walk with me. But by gosh, you, can you have some pride in your works with me? And by gosh, are you going to be significant in my body, Buster? Oh, yeah, you can do that. You can do that, but it's all in God's name. Well, once God withdraws from me, if he ever withdrew from me, I'm nothing. Absolutely nothing. All of this is because of him. All of it. 
all of it is because of him. But they teach you their, your whole life that it's not about you and you can't have an ego and all that. It's like, no, no, no. So if you've found the Lord, you have a look at all of those relationships in your life that you've had and you analyse them. You really analyse each one of those relationships and friendships you've had and they've all got to do with the Lord. I remember there was a few people at a, at a um, call centre I worked at, the same call centre as the guy who told me about the moon landing host. It was all the same time. That six-month period now, I look back at that six-month period after I found out the moon landing was a hoax. Three months before, three months after. Man, oh man, guys. Whoa. The people that started to drop off just before it and around it and new people that come in to my life, it's just, whoa. And I remember there was this one guy in that centre and I was telling him one day about how I was just starting to learn all this stuff and he said, oh, Breddy, 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 Breddy. He said, you keep digging in the rabbit hole. This is what he said to me. He says, you will keep, keep digging in the rabbit hole. And he says, you will find that there is just nothing there. And when you get there, you will just find a hellish scene, he said. He said, I stopped doing that a long time ago. I went, really? And I said to him another day, I so just put it out there. I said, oh, I just heard. I just heard that Michelle Obama could be a transsexual, could be a transgender thing. And he said, oh, you moron. He said, this is the same guy, you know, who, who went all down these rabbit holes and stopped because it was so hellish for him. So he learned all this truth. And he called me a moron and said, well, how, have they got, how has she got the kids? And that's what they do. They just say all this stupid stuff to make you feel like an idiot, you know. And all of these, but, but the truth's right there in front of you. So as my journey's gone on and on, I found the enemy have got more and more profound and as they get more and more profound and I expose them, well they're exposed to me by the Lord, you just start thinking, I am someone here and the Lord's telling me all the time because he comes on me man. When I'm talking he's just on me all the time you know, he's not here now, well he hasn't come on me but I'm sure he's in me and he's present as I do this video. But it's just constant. And people people search for the Holy Spirit and have the Holy Spirit on them for years. They go to church. That's where they all are now. They're all in church. It's like 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning here. I'm not going to church. It's not the place for me. It's, 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 where, it's where Freemasons play. It's their playground and they just play unabated. I'm not going there. But that's where all these people are. And they're, they're, they're looking for the Holy Spirit among Freemasons who don't encourage them to open their Bible. But yet here's me, just a dude, a 45-year-old dude from the Central Coast, and I've got the Holy Spirit in me constantly. And they just get more and more complex. It gets more and more layered. So when I first started this YouTube channel, I had this bloke come on. And I was only doing... I wasn't doing photos about... Uh, videos about the Lord then. No, it was just... I just started, I think. It was about the time when I went camping that time, and... It was before I was born again. It was before Christmas. There was a couple of months coming up to that, about November. So I remember I was born again when I opened my Bible, Christmas Day. It was those months coming up. Well, no, it must have been. It must have been because I was opening my Bible. But yeah, well, he first arrived. He first arrived before that, yeah. And he was sort of like my... He was there for me. He was like my human voice, and he was helping me along, you know, and guiding me and, and stuff. And one day, one day, and he, his angle, his angle was, you don't look at the enemy, you just try and gain wisdom of the Holy Spirit of the Lord. And that's crap. You can't do that, because if you don't know evil, if you don't know the, the evil works in the world, you've got no need for truth, you've got no need to pursue it, you've got no need to... I mean, I do now, I mean, I really need to know about creation, and I'm getting closer by the day. And I need to get solid in the gospel. But the reason for all that is because I know there's evil in the world. And, and, the, and the, the thought of going to hell just petrifies me. And God petrifies me. I'm just, I, I, I fear God. I just fear disappointing him. I fear, I don't know. I just fear his wrath. And being put over into the hands of Satan. I just, I just fear that all the time, you know. 
but they he 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 was he was sort of spewing that sort of doctrine and we're talking about CERN one day and I in my heart of hearts I believe that's what they're trying to do and I believe they will do it and that's what Revelation's all about I, I absolutely wholeheartedly think that because that's what the sea represents in the Bible the sea represents the veil and that's why they come from they come from the sea or the other side of the sea and all of that stuff in the Bible it's maybe you can't forget forget what you've read all of these stories about the Red Sea eh? it all comes back to the fallen angels it's, everything's about the fallen angels and the wisdom and all that Exodus the Red Sea he parted the veil they went through the veil see the Israelites and the Egyptians they're total opposites good and evil flesh and spirit the Bible's a spiritual book they went through the veil you can't forget and just because other people don't say it it doesn't mean it's wrong I'm wrestling at the moment who Jesus is. I can't see in the Bible anywhere where it says Jesus is God. Now that's not blasphemy because I'm not doing it intentionally. I'm asking questions and I'm asking, I'm praying, I'm asking for discernment. Lord God. God changed from God in Genesis 2, 4, it changed to Lord God. And you can see I'm going to do, I'm going to do a study on this over the next few days. I'm going to sit down and do spreadsheets and everything on this. They're two different entities. They're two different entities. But in any case, you can't forget, you just can't forget what you've learned. And it all comes back to all this fallen angel stuff. And the and 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 his angle was that day, he, one day he just said we I started talking about CERN. And the moment, the moment I started talking about CERN, he just said, Oh no, no, Brett, just concentrate on the concentrate on the kingdom of God, you know, and I fell for it and I went, Oh, of course, because I just saw it on the TV, and he disappeared. And like magic, within a day or so, along comes Ryan. And Ryan was more, much, much more complicated, much, much more complicated with his web of lies. Up here comes claiming to be the two witnesses. And straight away, if he's one of the two witnesses, he'd have a YouTube channel and he wouldn't have a happy harmony on his family. No, no, no. He'd have a life similar to mine, where he's scared of offending everyone all the day and he's putting it out there and he's being brave in the Lord. No, instead all he's doing is guiding somebody who is brave in the Lord, who is someone in the Lord, and he's guiding me away from truth while he gives me some truth and some lies. And the reason why I know all this is because the Lord's given me discernment to understand where the, what the lies are, as I see in Orange Sign behind me. It's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it's just coincidence. Or is it? But he's a lot more complicated. He comes like because i've grown and now i'm getting as my journey you know you can't have an ego brett nothing's about you brett my whole life you look back at your life you know the light orbs you know doesn't matter brett <laughs> doesn't matter that it happened to you because i saw it on tv why do they say that it's because it's me and we can't have me me brett having all this wisdom that you don't. I mean, that same person could go to one of their mates and they'd be all over it. Oh, wow. That's incredible. I wonder what it is. And it'd be like, la, 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 all this talk. And then it'd be like, yeah, I actually saw something on the TV about this as well. But no, that was their reaction. Didn't want to know because it's Brett. Because these people know, spiritually they know that I'm someone. And I feel like I've got to say this every time when I say this. I'm not full of ego. I'm someone in the Lord. The Lord's using me. And all I've done is hearken to his words because he created me this way. I've hearkened to his voice. How do you know when God talks to you? Well, when you look for him, you will know. I'm not going to give you little shortcuts and I'm not going to give you little hints and clues except to say, read the Bible and pray. And that's how you find him. And I tell you, once you find him and you put him in, into your heart, you accept him as your saviour, as your messiah, your whole life changes. Your whole life just changes. I can't believe how much my life has changed. The world has forsaken me. The world hates me. The world absolutely hates me. And the people that don't hate me 
I'm hanging on by a thread with them because I know offend, be, me offending them is right around the corner. Um, me getting them in a state of outrage is right around the corner. So I've got to be on tender hooks. I'm on tender hooks with everybody now in my life constantly. I can no longer be truly myself around them. I've just got to be like, and the way I the way I reconcile that in my own head is I'm not ashamed of Jesus because everybody knows now that I follow the Lord. But the way I reconcile that in my head is like that. Well, with the Lord, is is like that video I put up there yesterday about intercessors. About intercessors, how you can only do a certain amount where you just open the door and you allow the Lord in. But I, if I just sit there all day, every day, and just talking to all these people about the Lord and my wisdom and what I've learned and all that, they, they wouldn't want to know me. And these people are important to me, and their salvation is important to me. So I'm playing a very, very patient, graceful game, just as the Lord did with me. So, and does with me every day. I just look back at the things that I've recently learned and learned over my time and I just feel like a nincompoop. I just go, oh, you were so blind, you were so stupid, you know. And then the way my head works, it's like, well, everyone thinks that. It's like, well, no, they don't. And that's where you've just got to go, well, I, I, I am just completely not of this world now. I've just forsaken it. It's forsaken me. And now I've just got to, in the flesh, somehow navigate my way through, which I do via prayer reading of the scripture and trusting the Lord but they get more and more complicated so Ryan was extremely complicated he came with much wisdom how does he know that wisdom it's because he's got a great big secret society behind him that's why he doesn't have to work that's why he's got a happy family because that he lives in opulence he lives in he lives in wealth um, he lives in entitlement because he that's what the Freemasonry is with every level, they sell more of their soul and they gain more earthly riches and they gain more of the evil wisdom that was gained from the tree of good and evil, the tree of knowledge via the fall of the fallen angels. And then you look at somebody like Beck. I know I've had a few new subscribers come on and it's on the back of Beck, so you might not like this, but I believe she is of the enemy. I know she is because I spent a day with her. You haven't. I have. I'm not going to go into huge details, but I just think, what's her angle? What's going on there? And you just think they've all got an angle. She's just a lowly 100 sub little channel. She, she is, I thought. And that's her angle. She caught me. She had me going. I wasted a day with her, but it wasn't a waste because I learned much. I learned much about their deception. Can you find truth in lies? Once you open that Bible, and once you seek wisdom, the wisdom of, of, of Adam in his perfect state when he was the son of God, when you seek that wisdom, not the wisdom of the fallen angels, that's when you can find truth in lies. Yeah. So it's a really, really, I feel a lot better today, guys. Um, had a couple of comments there, and it's not about that. David, David, I can see... I said to I said to Ryan once actually I said to Ryan once I said I'm not talking to you here now David I'll get back to you in a sec um, I said to Ryan once when I was talking to him because I must have spent hour I spent hours with him on the phone and he was he was for a few weeks there he was my rock he was the place I went to but I was putting faith in man and I shouldn't do that we've got to be here for each other and but it's all through the Lord. It's all through the Lord. It's all through our faith. It's all through the word. And that's how we find this wisdom. You know, we shouldn't be asking other people the questions I was asking him, you know. You've got to do it yourself. And I did a video a couple of weeks ago where I said it's becoming really apparent to me that I've got to find all this stuff out for myself. And it's true. It's absolutely true. And that's what I did. I, I got weak. I got weak and... I was asking him questions and I actually said to him one day, he said, are you starting to believe who I say I am is who I am? Yeah, that's how I say that. <laughs> I can get wonky with my talking sometimes. You do that, I okay. And I just said, look, mate, I said, I don't know. I said, but I said, if you, 
are deliberately deceiving me. You are some kind of human being. That was my words. And I just don't know. I, is he a human being? Don't know. Don't think so. Don't think so. I think he may have come from a lab because he does say all the time to me that he makes a point that I came from my mother's womb and just liar, 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 pants on fire. As is Beck. As is Beck. That's why all those supernatural things happened that day, Beck. That's why all those supernatural things happened in front of us. That's why you took me to a pub. And it was interesting too, when as soon as Ryan arrived, he arrived basically at the same time Fours are left. And I tried to talk to Ryan about Forza and he wasn't interested. I sent him his pro I sent him his profile um, page and all that and he wasn't interested. And I've since found out that Forza's if it's got like one letter in the name Forza, I think it's Forza, yeah. One letter in in front of the name Forza and that's one of the Illuminati bloodlines. Ryan's surname is a Gee part or something. His surname. It's got links there, the red he's got a red shield sort of family. well it's a red it's a family shield of Switzerland. And there's some sort of famous sports player who's no doubt a 33 degree Freemason. So uh, it all just comes out. It all just comes out. And you find truth in it. Because the truth I'm finding in there lies there. It's just the levels they're going now to try and deceive me. And everybody. And that's sort of where I was saying with you, David. And forgive me. Forgive me if you are not at the enemy. And I, I do assume you're not when I go in. I will pray for discernment with you. But... You know, you've just got to look at everybody now that they could potentially be the enemy. You seem like, you seem legitimate, you seem genuine, and I want to get to know you. And we've created that messenger group there on YouTube, um, which will be nice, which will be nice. We can sort of, you know, get to know each other a little bit better. But but I just, I just, I just tell you, just pray for discernment about me as I have for you. Well, as I will about you. I don't think I have yet. If I, well, I'll do it again if I have. But just pray for discernment about me. But yeah, I think you can see now that I'm out there and I am legitimate and this is why I'm finding all this stuff out. Because when your only goal is the truth, your only goal is the truth, they will fall. You will see it. They will expose themselves. They always do. Liars always expose themselves. And time is the worst enemy for liars and time is the best asset for those of us in truth. So we've got to stay patient. We've just got to keep seeking truth, keep walking with the Lord, keep reading the Bible, keep praying, stay positive, stay positive, and trust Him. All right, so that's me this morning. I've got a few other ideas coming through at the moment. I want to do a video on creation. I sort of, things are sort of coming to me there. Could mean. And I also want to do one on, um, I also want to do one on your calling, exactly what your calling is and how you can decipher that. I've got some thoughts on that as well. But... In the meantime, it's a very, very good morning for me from a lovely, lovely Central Coast day. As you can see here in the waters above on the New South Wales Central Coast. Good morning to all of my brothers and sisters. The sun has come, you've been left behind.